These are notes on the greatest common factor. Um, a factor is the numbers that can divide into another number with no remainder. So for example, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And I tend to write them from smallest to biggest, but what that actually means is that I can kind of do this lovely little rainbow thing here where 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, and if I had more, I'd continue making rainbows in there. So when we talk about factors, we often extend it to talking about the greatest common factor. And what that means is it's the largest factor shared by a set of numbers. It can be two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, five numbers. In our two examples, we're going to look at just two numbers in each. So what I start with is I start by writing all the factors of 24. Um, and the way I tend to do this is I tend to always start with one. And then I put the matching number out on the end, so 1 times 24. And then I just go up the list. So I ask myself, is 24 divisible by 2? And it is. It's 2 times 12. Then I say, is 24 divisible by 3? And it is. 3 times 8. Then I say to myself, is 24 divisible by 4? It is. 4 times 6. And the nice thing about doing the, the pattern in this way, making the list in this way, is that um, I reach the point where the only number that's between is the last number I have to check. So the only number between 4 and 6 is 5, and 5 does not go into 24 evenly. So that's my list. Let's look at 36. So again, starting in the exact same way, I know, of course, that 36 is 1 times 36. And then I start walking up the number line. So 2. Yes, I know that 2 goes into 36. It's an even number. And that is 18. Let me just double check that. Yes. Um, I then say 3. And yes, it is divisible by 3. So I know that that is 12. 4. Yes, 4 also works. It's multiplied by 9 equals 36. 5. Nope, this isn't 5 or 0, so it's not divisible by 5. 6. Yes, it's divisible by 6, and its partner is 6. So I don't really need to write it again. But that does mean I've reached the middle point, which means I don't have to check any other numbers. I've checked them all, essentially, um, because if there were numbers after 6 that worked, they would have a partner over here on this side before the 6. So now I'm looking for the greatest that's in common. So they, you know, this one has 24 and 36, but then 36 doesn't have 24 and vice versa, so I'm kind of going down my list here. Um, so now 24, 12. Does 36 also have a 12? Yes, it does. They both have a 12. They also both have a 6 and a 4 and a 3 and a 2 and a 1, but of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, 12 is the greatest. So we say the greatest common factor of 24 and 36 is 12. Now these can get more complicated and they can get more complicated when we start to add variables into the mix. So I'm going to kind of deal with this in two different ways. I am going to kind of deal with this as the 10 and the x cubed as two separate ones and then the 5 and the xy as a separate entity. So for the 10 I start as always, with my 1 and 10. I go up, I've got 2, and 2 times 5 makes 10. Not divisible by 3, not divisible by 4, and I've already got the 5, so that's my complete list. 5 has a factor of 1 and 5, and that's it. It's, it's prime, so it doesn't have any other factors besides 1 in itself, uh, not 2, 3, or 4. So I'm going to look at the numbers first, and I can see here that the biggest number that they have in common in these two lists is 5. So greatest common factor of 10x cubed and 5xy is 5. 
And then I need to look at the variables. Um, the way I do this is I say, do they have any letters in common? And the answer here is yes, they, have, they both have X's. Then I have to ask myself, well, what's the greatest number of X's they have? Well, this one means I have three X's. So I have X times X times X. Where this one means I just have one of them. So the greatest number they have in common is one of them. So to the power of one or simply five X. Um, I wrote equals there already because um, the, only the bottom one has a Y. There is no Y in common on the top, and so it's not included in my greatest common factor.